Welcome to the Bahrain International Circuit. Any moment now, our drivers will take to the track and the Bahrain Grand Prix will begin. We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit, with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tire into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo, and Sainz, Norris, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon, Stroll, Vettel, Yuki Tsunoda and Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Russell, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Good job, nice overtake. Okay, DRS is now available.
Point race over. Take care of the car on the way in. That's it for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, tyre management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here.